Hey everyone, welcome to 30 Days of Yoga Camp. It's day nine and the mantra for today is I am bold. Let's rock. All right, today we're going to begin in extended child's pose. So take the knees as wide as your yoga mat, bring the two big toes to touch, and then when you're ready, settle on in for today's practice. Fingertips reach towards the front edge, heart melts towards the earth, forehead kisses the mat, and we take a second here to tune in. I think I've mentioned this before, but if this is not a great shape for your body, adjust. You can lift the hips up. Come to kind of a heart to earth pose here. You can curl the toes under, or you can just sit up nice and tall and close your eyes and relax your shoulders. So for me, that's what yoga camp is all about. Taking something and digesting it, processing it, and then making adjustments as needed. The practice of staying present present, excuse me, definitely translates off the mat. Staying present, aware. Go ahead and close your eyes here. Once you get settled in, begin to notice your breath. Give thanks for this moment. And know in your heart that you are worthy of this time for yourself. Taking this opportunity to tend to your body. Taking this opportunity to tend to your mind, mental health. and even maybe using this opportunity to tend to your heart or your spirit today. Let's see what happens. We're gonna move in a circle here today. Inhale, press into the tops of the feet, press into the palms, and we're going to move in a nice slow circle. So as you inhale, the heart uh, shines forward, the belly drops, kind of like we do in cat-cow. And then as you exhale, you come around and back, you round through the spine. You come through that extended child's pose. Maybe you take a second here to pause. And then keep it going. So the hands might uh, need to adjust. You might feel more stable with the toes curled under. Listen to your body, right? You are your best teacher. Ooh, you might hear some crackles and some sound effects from the body. Move nice and slow here. Let's begin to wake up today. So the mantra today, I am bold, it's gonna be awesome in those standing poses, but can be awesome even here. So how can you connect to that? Maybe it's just owning this time for yourself. Reverse your circle if you haven't already, begin to play. Again, linger in the places that it feels good to hang out in a little bit longer. Maybe you find a little catch and you rock through. Maybe you're ready for practice today and you're already starting to be bold in your movement, nice and creative as you check in with the shoulders, the hips. I like to call this drunk cat cow, which many of you know, some of you may be hearing for the first time. When I used to teach high schoolers yoga, um, I'd always say, drunk on love, and they'd be like, yeah, right, whiskey. I'd be like, whatever, they're doing yoga, they're breathing. So beautiful. So get drunk on your libation of choice. I'll choose love. And we'll just do a couple more circles. So notice if you've already begun to get bored here, normal human thing. See if you can explore other areas of the body. Side body stretch, fingers, toes, neck. 
And then when you feel satisfied, we'll come back to all fours, walk the knees underneath the hip points and wrist right underneath the shoulders. Press away from your yoga mat, press into the tops of the feet, take a deep breath in. Then exhale, curl the toes under slowly today. Peel up from the tail, downward facing dog with the knees bent. Strong connection, hand to earth. Melt the heart back. Big breath in, my friends. Big breath out as you begin to straighten through the legs. Hmm. Couple of moments here on your own to pedal it out. Great. When you're ready, take it for a nice, slow walk up towards the front edge. Nice and slow today. Negotiate. Make your way to forward fold. When you arrive, take a couple of awesome breaths here. You deserve it. Maybe walking the fingertips to one side and then the other. Keep breathing here. And then when you're ready, close your eyes, be brave, be bold, and roll it up. Nice and slow. Consciously press into the feet. And as you begin to roll up through the staircase of the spine, find that natural lift in the heart. This is that natural lift, that natural light within, if you will. Just roll with me. And then right away here, we'll reach the fingertips high up towards the sky and begin to open up through the side body. So take your right hand to your left wrist. Think up and over as you have soft knees here. Just side body stretch to the right. Keep deepening the breath here as you inhale, reach up towards the sky, climb, and then over to the left. Left hand grabs right wrist. Soft knees here, not locked. Little awareness through the pelvis. Inhale to center, exhale, rain it down. Mountain pose. So take a second to go through your checklist. Lengthening the tailbone down, activating through the lower body. Most importantly, begin to connect to your center. Center, whatever that means to you. Finding that lift up from the pelvic floor, perhaps. Maybe it's just closing your eyes for a moment and sending awareness there. Then take a second to loop the shoulders forward, up and back a couple times. Nice big circles with the shoulders forward, up and back. And then bring the fingertips to the shoulders and we're going to reverse that kind of like a swim here with the elbows. So now taking it forward, down and back, one at a time. Notice if you're clenching in the feet or locking through the knees. Just keep expanding that awareness. This one's kind of fun. Great, then keep the fingertips where they are, come back to center, and big circles with the elbows as you bring them forward, up, and back. Really try to take up space. Move nice and slow. If you're dealing with a shoulder injury or you know that you're tending to the shoulder, you know to take, take it easy here, right? Again, notice what's going on in the feet, what's going on in the pelvis. Let's do one more big circle, inhale. Elbows reach forward. Up and back and then exhale, we release everything. Ah, mountain pose. Great chin to chest. Now big circles with the nose. You can close your eyes here. Notice if the shoulders are wanting to collapse, the heart collapse here. So see if you can keep the shoulder blades drawing together. I'm exaggerating here, but remember this work we just did. Shoulder blades drawing together, heart lifting as you draw your circles with the nose. So I like to share circles with the nose rather than 80s neck rolls. Save that for another time, another night. Um, and some generations are like, yeah, and others are like, no. I'm with the yeah committee. And reversing your circle if you haven't already. And so we do this to warm up the neck, but I'm also giving you just a chance to expand awareness through the fingertips, the pinkies, the toes. 
right. Awesome, and then back to center. All right, let's rock and roll. Inhale, big breath as you reach the fingertips up. And big breath as we send it down, forward fold. Take a second here, relax the head, the neck, the shoulders. <clears throat> Notice if you're gripping anywhere, and then everyone, lower back love, bend your knees super generously, ah, send the tail towards the ground, as if you were sitting on a chair. We're gonna keep the arms down here, so don't panic. And then just kind of rocking front to back a little bit in the heels, and the toes. You can use your hands here to brace yourself. And yes, we're waking up the muscles of the legs for our bold standing postures. We're also giving the lower back some love and then just make sure you're not holding, clenching in the head, the neck, the shoulders. You mm, can even move your tail a little bit. Feels good. Sweet, and then we let that go. Straighten through the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften and bow. Inhale, reach for the sky, bend the knees, press into the feet consciously, spread the fingertips. And exhale, namaste, hands to heart. Namaste. Connecting, honoring, acknowledging the highest version of yourself. So you can't hate on yourself when you are in namaste. You know, it's a connect to your best self. It's like those days when you look in the mirror and you're like, all right, all right, gonna be a good day, you know? So I'm just sharing that. It could just, you know, sometimes it's just we get into that robot mode. So sometimes it is just a simple going like, okay, cool, I love myself. Here we go, inhale, reach it up. <laughs> Exhale, diving forward. When you catch up here, inhale with your breath. So you may not move with me and that's okay. Don't get frustrated. Flat back, exhale. Follow it, the breath down. Then we'll plant the palms, walk the toes together, and step the right foot back, low lunge. Just stretch it out here. Rock front, ooh, rock back. If you wanna lower the knee here, you're welcome to. Take a second to find your alignment. Just check in with the body today, opening up the hips a bit here, or maybe a lot here. <laughs> big breath in, big breath out as you connect to your center. Hug those lower ribs in and step the back foot up about midway. Right toes are at 45 degrees, left toes pointing forward, little pyramid posture here. Imagine peeling the left hip crease up. We stretch the legs, breathe, breathe, breathe. Great, then again, fingertips to the mat, connect to your center, soften through the left leg. So bend your left knee and step it back to your lunge. Awesome. We're gonna step the back foot, excuse me, the left foot back, planting the palms and coming into a plank. First plank of the day, rock front, rock back, and then slowly lower to your knees, hug the elbows in, and send your gaze forward as you slowly lower down. Cobra, keep it nice and low, baby cobra to start. Inhale, nice and easy, wakening the spine, and exhale, forehead kisses the mat. Keep it going, inhale, press into your foundation, pull the elbows back, keep it nice and soft and easy. And then exhale, forehead kisses the mat. One more, inhale again, waking up the spine, the back body. And then following the breath down. Cool, curl the toes under, connect to your center, press into all 10 knuckles, and we come back to that plank. Big breath in, big breath out, downward facing dog. When you're ready, step the right foot up, come into your nice low lunge. You can lower the back knee here, no prob. Take a second here to check in with the body. Begin to open up through the hips. Notice if um, you're crashing all your weight into your fingertips. See if you can lighten your load a little. Use your breath, breathe, breathe, breathe. Then inhale, loop the shoulders, look forward. Exhale, soften through the legs and step that left foot up halfway. Left toes point towards the front left corner of the mat, right toes aim forward. We inhale in and exhale as you pull the right hip crease back, fold, stretching the legs. Mm -hmm. 
Great, connect to your center, soften through the right knee, and when you're ready, step it back to your lunge. Awesome, inhale, look forward. Exhale, plant the palms, you got this. Step the right toes back, full plank, or you can lower the knees here. Inhale, gaze forward, hook the elbows, hug them into the side body. Stay connected to your center as you slowly lower down. Inhale, baby cobra, three times here. Moving with your breath. See if you can ride the wave of your breath here. And after three, we'll curl the toes under, connect to your center. So really, I usually don't like to use this word here, but go ahead today and suck your navel up towards your spine. Activate from there. See what that does if you move from there rather than just muscling through the arms. Changes it a little bit. Yes, I felt that. Inhale in, exhale to down dog. <sighs> Repeat the slow walk from before or bend the knees. Inhale in, look forward. And on an exhale, hop, jump, float to the top. You can do a mix and match too, have a little fun. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, your version. Beautiful long neck, pull the shoulders back and exhale, slide it down. Inhale, bend the knees, reach the arms all the way up and overhead. Full body stretch, and exhale, namaste. Soft knees, inhale, shake it off, here we go again, reach it up. Exhale, diving forward. Have some fun here, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften and bow. This time we're gonna plant the palms, step or hop it back to plank. Feel free to lower the knees here and move through your vinyasa. So it could be nice and gentle or you might start to heat it up depending on where you are in your journey on the mat. We'll meet in downward dog. The best thing to do is take care of your body. Check your ego, as they say, and be super mindful. I read a great article the other day that I just could not agree more with about, you know, the true advanced yogis are the ones that are really pulling back and, and aiming for the balance, the integrity and the postures. And I think a lot of people in the yoga with Adrian community are, are working on that right now and it's really impressive. So here we go, drop the left heel, lift the right leg high, spread the right toes as much as you can. Take another deep breath in here, and then use your exhale to squeeze the right knee up and in towards your heart. Step it up into your lunge. We're making our way to warrior one. So we'll pivot on the back foot and take your time here as you grow a nice, strong, bold warrior. So that means paying attention to the foundation, really rooting into the earth mindfully, going through your checklist, hugging the muscle to the bone, working on you know, your spirals in the body, finding that upward current of energy. So if you're like, I don't know, warrior one, check out the foundations of yoga video. It's really awesome just to kind of break down the poses sometimes and find them in your body, which is important. And then when you feel like you have a strong connection to the earth, or whenever you're ready, reach the fingertips up high. Now the mantra here is I am bold. So close your eyes here if you're feeling super adventurous, you've been practicing for a while, and repeat that mantra to yourself. Otherwise, hold on to a nice sharp focus either down in front or out in front of you, and say, I am bold. If you're feeling really adventurous, say it out loud. I am bold. Power through that back leg, relax the shoulders, sink into that front knee. I am bold. Strong warrior. What are you gonna be a warrior of today? Peace, love. We talk about the spiritual warrior, I feel like it's Got a bad rap, but that's pretty cool, you know? Inhale in, one more breath, you got it. Exhale, warrior two. <sighs> Pull the pinkies back, find that lift through the center channel. Notice if your back hand's falling down here, try to keep it even with the shoulders. Spread the fingertips, lengthen. See if you can make your neck even longer here by drawing the shoulders down. 
Make sure you can see your front big toe. A lot going on here. Here we go. Strong. I am bold. You're probably starting to feel sensations all over the body. Feel this heat creeping up on you. Ah, how awesome it is to be alive and to be able to feel our bodies such as this. Here we go. Let's change it up. Inhale. Straightening through the front leg. Fingertips kiss up and overhead. So we soften. Exhale, warrior two. Focus right out beyond the right fingertips here. Inhale, reach. And exhale, warrior two. I am bold. Engage all the muscles here. So the muscles of the arms here, it's not kind of slack. We're really sending energy out through the fingertips as you inhale. And exhale. And one more, you got it. Exhale, warrior two. Relax the shoulders. Arms are getting tired, I know. You're doing great. Extended side angle. So we get a chance to return to this. Practice pulling the right hip crease back. Soften right elbow to the top of the right thigh. Then go ahead and reach the left fingertips up towards the sky, or you can practice plugging that shoulder in and sending it towards the front edge of your mat. Other options here for the full expression, reaching the fingertips down. You know what to do here. Maybe you take a bind. So take a couple breaths wherever you are. Then rather than just releasing everything, slowly use your breath to guide you back to your lunge. So the heart dials back. That foot nice and bright pivots. So there's lots of awareness. And then we plant the palms, step it back, move through a vinyasa, or send it straight to child's pose. That's where we'll meet. Take a rest. Great work, my friends. When you reach your balasana, take a second to just notice your breath, heavy and hot, hot and heavy. Um, and let the fingertips reach towards the back edge of your mat and let the shoulders relax. Mm. Remember why you came to your yoga mat today, maybe why you first sparked an interest in yoga camp. And then remember, you deserve this time for yourself. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna cool down and call it. Let's do it. Reaching the fingertips forward, we come back to all fours. When you're ready, walking the knees underneath the hip points, curling the toes under, press into the palms, send it back, down dog. Here we go, dropping the right heel this time. Inhale, slide the left leg up high. Stay connected to your center here so the lower ribs are not just playing out, but we're kind of hugging them in. And here we go, inhale in. Exhale, stay connected to your center as you squeeze left knee in towards the heart. Hover, connect to your strength. Then when you're ready, step it up into your lunge, making your way to warrior one. Take your time. Really paying attention to the foundation here so where the toes are pointing, Maybe you go heel the arch alignment. Maybe take a little wider stance. Tailbone lengthens down. I ground down through the back body. And I grow tall through the front body. So I feel like we often rush in these poses and we never get to feel that sense of connect to the earth, to our muscles, to the foundation, to the lower body. But also it's really hard to take on the mantra and feel it, believe it to be true, I am bold, when you don't pay attention to the foundation. Right? It's that image of a house, you know, if you're going to build a house, you want to make sure the foundation is solid, that it's blessed, <laughs> so that you can live in it happy, bold. So once you feel like you've kind of gone through your checklist, take the fingertips up high. Close your eyes if you're feeling super adventurous. <sighs> Power through the outer edge of your right foot. So by closing the eyes or softening the gaze, you just get a chance to kind of feel what the body is doing and kind of let go of the shape, which is hard. I know, but I'm doing my best to kind of guide you in a way to kind of let go of that. And I feel like we have to condition ourselves to do that. So take a couple more breaths here. You're doing awesome. I am bold. Maybe you've been waning in an area of your life. Well, here's a great chance to go. No, you know what? I deserve this. I am bold. I'm going to stand up for myself. I'm confident. Warrior two. So I find I can get a little bit deeper in my front leg in warrior two. Sometimes I even widen my stance, although not lately. 
Lengthen the tailbone down again. Draw the lower belly in. And check out your warrior two. What happens if you lift the toes? What happens if you lift both palms in line with the shoulders? Spread the fingertips wide. Can you engage the muscles of the arm without creating tension? Then here we go. Inhale, power through that front leg. Draw energy up from the arch of your right foot and inhale, reach. Exhale, soften. Inhale, reach. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach, moving with your breath. Welcome that heat. Inhale one more time. And exhale, sink deep. Warrior two. I am bold. Here we go, softening here. Extended side angle, we get a chance to play. Pull the left hip crease back. Right hamstring parallel to the earth. Maybe not today, but one day. Front knee over front ankle, and we play here. So not only can we modify and find empowerment through modifying, but it's fun to do different variations, to stay alive in the pose. Take care of your neck here. And then when you're ready, dial your heart back to center, nice and slow. Stay conscious through the right foot. Great work. We come back to our low lunge. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, plant the palms again. Optional, move through a vinyasa or take it straight to child's pose. So you have the option here. We'll meet Balasana. Once again, let the weight of the shoulders go. All right, take one more nice, loving breath in here. And then we'll slowly trace the fingertips all the way back up. Come back to all fours. Swing your legs over to one side. And we'll come to lie flat on the back. Yay! When you arrive, give yourself a big old hug. It should feel good in the lower back body here. Snuggle those shoulder blades underneath the heart space. It should feel really great if you feel like you have that kind of, uh, I don't wanna be negative, but if you have the kind of turtle shell in the upper back body, my friends and I call it the Quasimodo. Like if you're feeling a little Quasimodo, then you want to open up the chest and the muscles. I don't mean that in a negative or derogatory way at all. I just mean, if you feel tight in the upper back body, a simple snuggle of the shoulders underneath the heart space, so good. So you can do this in your bed. Um, you can make that adjustment at your desk, even while sitting up. One more breath here as you hug the knees in, just kind of neutralizing through the back body. Hmm. Great, then we're just gonna take the fingertips out, Texas T, scoop the tailbone up, Big breath in and exhale, nice and passive uh, recline twist today. So you don't have to extend, just let it all go. Turn it on over to your right ear and breathe. It's helpful to bring the left hand to the outer edge of the right thigh, please do. And close your eyes here. So depending on what time of day you're doing a practice, Give yourself permission, so you might, it might be the morning, you might have a full day ahead, or maybe the evening is completed. Nice long day. Just give yourself permission here to just put any thoughts of the day that you either just had or that's ahead, put them just on hold, just put them aside. Just I'm gonna put mine right over there on the windowsill and just give yourself this piece here in the twist. Just a moment to peace out before we roll up off the mat and into the world. <laughs> Listen to your breath here. And then starting with your right knees, we're going to have a nice wide leg transition here. 
Start with the right knee, let the weight of your right leg take you over. So we have this nice wide kind of sprawled eagle <laughs> transition. And then we'll take it over to the right, turn onto the left ear. And same thing, just put uh, your to-do list, put the day thus far, the day ahead to the side and give yourself this last couple, these last couple beats of peace here. Listen to the sound of your breath, close your eyes, relax your jaw. And same thing, releasing and allowing the left knee to guide us back. Then you have this nice wide knee here. We're going to reach the fingertips through. First grab the arches of the feet and then giddy up the heels all the way up towards the sky. Giddy up, that's, a, that's also an ancient yoga term. I forget what it is in Sanskrit, but uh, I can look that up for you. Once you find what feels good here in stirrup posture, you might take the arms, the hands around to the outer edges of the feet. And then just find what feels good here, either massaging the feet, popping the toes. Everyone, see what happens when you lengthen your tailbone towards the front edge of your mat. Nice action there in the pelvis. And then even grounding down through the shoulders here. Feels quite nice. Nice and long in the neck. Take one more deep breath in. And then exhale, release everything. Soles of the feet come to the mat. Ooh, yeah. We're gonna take a little windshield wiper here, so bring the palms out. We're just gonna rock to one side. You can do the ankle cross if that feels good. And then to the other. And then making your way into Shavasana. So before you do that, if there's anything else you're craving, perhaps you're, um, you know, maybe you're not new to the practice and you want to practice a shoulder stand or something else, now would be a good time to do that. So I think that in yoga camp, you know, this is just, I'm merely your humble buddy and guide. I think you should use this time to explore. Of course, if you're new to the practice and, and um, actually everyone, just be really mindful. Don't skip out on this Shavasana, even if it's just for a moment or two to completely release and relax. Eventually we'll extend the legs out long. Take a nice refreshing breath in. As you exhale, open your wings and release. So you might be playing right now. You might be doing a little freestyle. That's awesome. So whether you're in Shavasana and ready to rest or you're freestyling, I wanna thank you for sharing your practice and I want to honor you and give you thumbs up for showing up for yourself. Way to rock it out. I'll see you tomorrow, day 10. Namaste.